Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karunji Josephine and I'm so glad to have you here if it's your first time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I have a guest with me and she's going to be introducing herself. She's a mother, she's in two careers, she's a wife. So she's going to be sharing with us how is she able to juggle all these things and not be able to miss out on the moments of being a mother, not miss out on career and be a good wife at the same time. So this is a special edition for my mothers and to those that actually uh, have been thinking of becoming mothers in the future. I uh, would like to welcome you, Mami. Thank you so much for accepting to come oh. on this channel. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. Coach Justin, my beautiful daughter. Yes. Uh, hello, friends. Welcome to Coach Josephine Kalunji's YouTube channel. My name is Najuma Christine Sega Bressed. I'm a management uh, counselor and relationship coach. I'm super excited to be here on this video. I'm married to the most handsome man called Dr. Nesega Jagenda. For the last 29 years, we have children and grandchildren. And by the way, I'm uh, an administrator for the last 29 years. Wow. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love the fact that she has really broken them down. Like, she's a mother, she's in two careers, she's a wife. So she's going to be sharing with us how is she able to juggle all these things and not be able to miss out on the moments of being a mother, not miss out on career. Um, first of all, let's start with motherhood. Yeah. What are the good things that you have come to realize or to learn about mothers? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Coach Josephine. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for the gift of motherhood. And for all mothers watching this video, Please remember to thank God for the gift of motherhood. Personally, I thank God for the gift of motherhood. I'm a mother to many. I'm a mother to many children, biological and many spiritual children. And what the, the, the revelation I got as a mother, you need to thank God every day for the gift of motherhood. As you said, there, there, are, there, are, there are those who are already mothers and there are those who are planning, praying to, to be God mothers. to become mothers. Yes. Friend, don't give up. Don't give up. You become a mother. Whichever way you become a mother, either biological or by adoption or by spiritual children, you become a mother. Yes. So this, this gift of motherhood, really, it gives fulfillment. It gives joy. It gives peace. Yes. It gives content, contentment. There's a the, special way you feel when you see your children yes you, they, 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 right, right now my last my last born is 21 years he made 21 years in, in on may uh, on may 3rd wow. so they, they, the way you feel good you, you, you when you see your your offspring you they, they, you, you, you you feel feel feel, yes, feel you, feel happy. you see the image of god mm. you, 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 so friends motherhood excites me yeah motherhood excites me and motherhood m m makes me appreciate God. Yeah. Yes. Just the fact that God trusted you to co-create with him exactly. or to actually take on a responsibility of nurturing someone else. Yes. It, itself it's a blessing. Yeah, it is. It yes. is. Yes. So let's talk about uh, raising children because mm. motherhood is not only about you know being called a mother a mm. title mm. it's not only about the title you know the process of raising children is mm. not something easy it comes with its ups and downs so mom how have you been able to actually um uh, nurture children the right way because this generation has changed mothers uh, leave children to, like to be nurtured by other people and sometimes they miss out on this process on this journey of you know parenting your children what are some of these things that have worked for you that could help someone out there yeah thank you so much coach josephine mm. friends first and foremost what has helped me as a mother in this generation, this 21st generation, I always tell people, and I want to tell you again, hmm. we need to thank God that we are in this generation. Because if not you in this generation, then who? What has helped me that I every day, I surrender, I commit, I dedicate my children to God. Yes, prayer. Prayer, in prayer, in reading the word of God. I remember to dedicate my children one by one to God. Before I get out of my room to come and speak to them, to mm. come and assign them work, I surrender them to God. Yes. And after surrendering them to God, I take another step to teach them the ways of the Lord. As I'm nurturing them, I, I, I impart uh, discipline and morals in them, but I also train them to fear the Lord and to love the Lord and to know Him 
or the, as, as them as individuals. Yes. That has helped me so much. Right? All my children know how to love God. They fear the Lord. Mm. They serve Him. They pray. They, they, it happened uh, quite just when you know some of my children have started mm. from many miles away from me. Yes, but they could yes. tell me, Mommy, your prayer time, the family altars mm. have sustained us yes. and they're still sustaining us. Mm. My dear mother, who is watching this video, remember to teach your children to love the Lord. Remember to teach them, the, whichever faith you are, yes. remember to teach them to that, honor the Creator. Yes. That one has helped me so much and is still helping me. And then another thing which has helped me, I'm a friend to my children. I am open with my children. Yes. My children are my friends. My children, they are, I, I give them a safe place to, to, to share with me. They are my confidant mm. and I'm their confidant. They share with me their fears and their, their, uh, and their worries. Yes. They share with me their insecurity, their anxiety. They share with me their achievements. When they achieve, I, I achieve. When it's time for celebration, I celebrate with them. Yes. By the way, I love dancing with my daughter. If it's yeah. time for us to celebrate, <laughs> we just put on music and we dance. Yes. But that is helping me, mm. uh, 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 and and uh, and then we we love to do exercise together with my sons because they love to keep fit. They say, "Mommy, today we are going to to run together. We are going to walk together. Yes. We are going to do football together." Mm. So being b being involved in my children's life mm. has also helped me to as a mother has helped me to 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 nurture them because I get involved in any moment. Yes. And when they were still at school, mm. uh, especially in high school, I made sure I have to visit my children. Or that time when it's the school, I have to visit them at the, the any career day, any mm. class day, when they're in boarding school, I made sure I have to visit them and even to have one-on-one -on -one with them, to have time with their teachers, to mm -hmm. have time with their with, with the people who take care of them, like the nurses. Sometimes yes. we forget the nurses, mm. with the, the secretaries. So um, I, I make sure I get quite a time with my children. Yes. For, from whichever level. Yeah, some people actually mistake time uh -huh. and quality time uh -huh. because they're spending time with their I children know. but not actually having quality time with them so get get involved in what mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. some parents don't even know the kind of homework their children oh, do yeah. they don't know the kind of books your children are reading so get involved be part of whatever activities they're interested in because there is you being there give the, giving them time but mm -hmm. when you're on your phone I know. when you're actually you know talking to other people give them quality time not quantity yes. time right quality time yes and related to that give them quite a time mm -hmm. and get Get to know in details their hobbies, what excites them. Yes. Their hobbies. You may say, I'm giving you quite a time. You take them to the movie, mm -hmm. and uh, yet your, your movie is BBC, be born before <laughs> computer. Yes. And for them, they want <laughs> when they won't be able they to enjoy. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. You say, I know me, I, 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 every week mm -hmm. I do cinema time with my children. Mm -hmm. Is there, there is it, are they interested? Mm -hmm. Are they interested? Yeah, there are those who are, who are interested. Get to know their hobbies, get mm. to know what interests them, get to know what excites them, mm. and get to know what they dislike. Get to know their strength. Yes. By the way, mothers, our children are different. Even if they are twins, mm. they are different. Totally different. They are gifted different. Me, I got to know that all my children are different. There are those who love singing. Yes. There are those who love football. Mm. There are those who are open. There are those who are a bit closed in. There are those who, who are ever, they want to cook. There are those who want to, to, to tidy the place. So our children are different. You need to understand them and accept them. Yes. And after understanding and accepting them, even you are the mother. You need to understand your role. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes we mothers we go overboard. You want to fast so much. You want the, the, the time my son will tell me, "Mommy, I, I don't want." I, I was asking, "Do you have a girlfriend?" I said, ah, "Mommy, auntie, also you fast a lot." <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you should, you know your boundaries. Mm. Hey, you, there are some information you are seeking, mm. but yet it's not time. But when time came, he mm. told me, "Said, mommy, by the way, even we sat at the veranda at my mm. home. Come and I tell you, mm. I've got this beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. She's called Victoria." Mm. And I said, "Are you serious?" I said, "Yes, mommy, I'm going to marry." We held hands, we prayed, mm. and guess what? Right now, they are married Good. 10 years, they oh have more children. <laughs> so, get involved mm. and, uh, and hold their hands if they need prayer. Don't judge them. 
let them be vulnerable. Mm. I, me, I don't judge my children. I mm. just welcome them. I remember, let me share this story. I remember there's one of my son, he was at the university and he had problem with one of his roommates. He was in first year. Yes. So when he came at home on Friday, I told him, we were praying. I told him, you know what, my son, I feel you are not happy. There's something. He said, mommy, it's true. There's this roommate who is giving me a headache. Mm. We prayed and the next year, she, he got another roommate. So mm. let your children share. Don't mm. tell you, know, you say, me, I'm praying for my children. And you pray just see, with, without consulting them. Yes. So as mothers, as we are nurturing these children, let's know their, their details. And mm. after knowing their details, know your responsibility. Where do you start and where do you, you stop? Uh, where do you stop? You have know? boundaries. Uh, have boundaries. You know, because just <laughs> mm. some of us, the, you, you know, because you gave birth this, uh, to, to this child, the son or daughter, mm. you used to carry them when they are babies. You want also to carry them now when, when they, they are, are big. Uh, when they are big adult mm. children. No, mm. stop carrying them. <laughs> and this is the, before I forget, this is the message to us mothers. Mm. We are babysitting, even our the baby son, our children, the the the, the boy child. Mm. We are babysitting them. We are babysitting the girl child, and we are we are failing to empower them that they can be great husbands and fathers. Mm. Stop babysitting an adult male. Mm. Somebody is thirty years, twenty years. Let him be a man. Let him be a man. Mm. So you need to know the boundaries. Don't you know? I'm your mother. Mm. Yes, you are the mother, but you need to know boundaries. Yes. So friends. We need to know our responsibilities. Yeah, what is your responsibility as a mother for a teen girl, for a teen boy? Mm. What is your responsibility for an adolescent? What mm. is your responsibility for an adult son, an adult girl? You need to know, and then it will help you which message to share with them. Yes, Because yes. as you are nurturing these children, mm. you need to keep communication. You need yes. to communicate to them. Don't say, I mean, I've said, mm. uh, I don't do, they, this. don't do this. No, mm. you have to keep the communication with your children. Don't dictate don't decisions dictate. for uh, them. They'll get fed up. They'll get mm forward. They'll get bored and they'll, mm. they'll shy away from you. When you sit at the dining table, mm. they'll be in the sitting room. Mm. When you sit in the sitting room, they'll go out and play. Yeah, they there don't is... feel comfortable. <laughs> you get it? There is a certain uh, story I had yeah. where uh, when children see that their parents are actually back home, uh -huh. everyone disappears to their bedrooms. That's 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 a, a bad sign yeah. to your children. Mm. It's a bad sign for parenting. That means there is something you're not actually doing exactly, right. Exactly. So your children should be afraid. They should be able to share what they're going through. Mm. Are they having... Are they being bullied at school yes. are there, you know a lot of things mm. so thank you so much for sharing about uh, th those are pa parenting tips if yes. you're a mother there mm. or you've been thinking of becoming a mother mm. you should make sure that be be, be like be available mm. be available mm. and then another thing yeah. parenting comes with a lot of you know challenges it comes with ups and downs so what are some of these things when it comes to motherhood mm. that you found really quite challenging okay mm. thank you coach josephine one of the challenges as them uh, of motherhood mm. is influence of peer pressure peers peers of our children mm. there are stages where children we just say my friend said this mm. my teacher said this no for for us, uh, we, 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 at our school, we do it like this. Mm. So that influence from other external people mm. can really disorganize you as a mother. But if in such situation, what I uh, what I usually do and what I I, I still do, mm. you you need to know the friends of your children. Don't don't judge them. You say because you are doing this because of peer pressure. I don't like it because no. Don't shout at him or her. Just take a step and tell him or her. Bring your friends. Me, I use it. Mm. I tell like, especially when they're in the vacation. Mm. I invite all their friends. I tell you, you are my son. I want to know your friends. My daughter, I want to know your friends. Yes. First and foremost, they list them for me. I pray for them, and then I tell, uh, can I host them at home? I have that tendency. I host them at home. I get to know them. We have more mm, merriment. Get to we see what they do. Yeah, we get to. I get to see what they do. I get to know their their, their insecurities. Mm. I get to know a bit of their families, and then uh, uh, and, and then we we'll move on. But because if if the, your your son or your daughter is influenced by by his friends. You don't just back off and just say, you know, you see here, I didn't know. Please, you need to take a step and be calm, be humble, and do uh, 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 and, and get to know the friends, and then even talk to them if there's something. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another another challenge of motherhood is, as I mentioned earlier, children are different. You can you the your first born was so open, then mm -hmm. if the second born is not, you say, mm -hmm. you keep quiet, I don't understand you. Mm -hmm. You judge them, and then you are forgetting they are different. So 
if you don't take time and understand the character of your children, it will mm. give you a headache. It will become a problem. And what is the solution? Take time and understand the different temperaments of your children, yeah, the different yeah. tra character traits of your children. Mm. Get to know the, 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 what, 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 what excites them, as I mentioned earlier. And then another challenge of, uh, of, of, of nurturing children, mm. the, the ICT, the IC advancement, the usage <laughs> of uh, yeah. social media. Mm. Social media is a great thing. Mm. Social media has developed us, but you, men, some children can get addicted to their, mm. to their, to their social platform, to their, eye, to their computers, mm. to their laptops, to their phones. You just wake up at midnight to check. I always check up with my children. You find them on the phone. Then you get pissed off. What I say, I just know what, son. Can we open that, 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 that phone and read the verse? Mm. But you don't just back at them. Mm. But it's a challenge to us parents, Especially mothers. Especially in this generation. In this generation. That from childhood, uh -huh. a child has a tab with them you know he starts speaking from the moment uh -huh. they start speaking yeah. they're watching cartoon <laughs> They, they, they are every like they're working with their tabs yeah, everywhere. everywhere when they go at school uh -huh. at school they're you know, researching on tabs, on and, tabs laptops. and they're also learning on tabs so the addiction is too much is too you much. might find that you don't even get time with your child yeah. why because they're ever on yeah. those things so try to create a time try to you know create time off those gadgets mm. because some yeah, the addiction is not yeah, really good the, the addiction is not good and mm. as you said coach josephine mm. you need to create time you as a mother and even be exemplary yes. you may say get off to social media when but for your race yeah on the phone. dining you're with the phone mm. on the in the sitting room you're with the phone in the bathroom you want even to go with your phone yes. no be exemplary as a mm. mother mm. if you you, you you can say please Let's, I have a family that I know. For them, they have a Friday up mm. to Sunday. It's off social media days. Yeah, yeah have family values mm. and say, you know what? When we are on the dining table, we don't have our phones. Leave our phones in the bedroom. Mm. And even when in the sitting when room, maybe. Eating, when you are eating, no, no phones. phones. When you are doing housework, no phones. Those children, they have a tendency. Of course, they yes. put their earphones. They are on music, bombing, bo rather booming. I beg your pardon, booming. Mm. And then, but you need to just put some internal controls mm. you need just to instill values and tell them friends yes mm. we are for us i may there be born there is more to life there is than, more to life than, than social media yes yes and you can and i always tell uh, uh, mothers even me i do it be, be you view your, the status of your children mm. the, see the, what the, they post what they post mm. view their, be, be their friend on their social media platform not, uh, yeah, i, I like can see some things. children there they know how to block hey, their parents uh, like what exactly are you posting <laughs> that you don't want I your know, parents to exactly, see exactly exactly yes be mm. a friend of, of your children on, on WhatsApp, mm. rather on social media, on Facebook, subscribe to their YouTube channel, yes. Instagram, get involved. Mm. You know, friends, mothers, this generation, we, we can't do away with ICT. Yes, we can't do can't. away with social media. There's a, there's a lady I was sharing with, her, her daughter had put on uh, uh, some st uh, funny, funny pictures on the, what? on the status. I told I rang her, can you go and view the status of your daughter? Mm. She, had said, she had put on uh, when she was in a swimming pool, mm. swimming costume, mm. on I said, man, I said, me, I don't know those things. I said, you need to learn those things. Mm. Just like on Facebook, they mm. ask you, what's your, your mind? mind? <laughs> like they want to get to see, uh -huh. what do you think? Mm -hmm. So sometimes for you to be able to get into your child's mm. mind, know what they are thinking. You their status. Follow them on social media, <laughs> know what they do. Because if the, what they're doing is right, uh, then they shouldn't really be hiding exactly, anything exactly. from it. When they yeah. are happy, they'll say, hey, mm. God, you've done it again. Mm. Then they say, my daughter, what has the Lord done it again? Yeah. You celebrate with them. Yes. So, Let's not cast social media. Mm. Let's encourage our children to use the social media for the right purpose. Yes. Because social media has the, its advantages. Mm. It's developmental. But sometimes it can really give a headache mm. to us mothers. Mm. And especially when you are not so much uh, interested, you are busy doing a lot of other things. Yes. And that's why it calls for you to stay in your lane, be in mm. your position, stay as a mother. Yes, stay. be a mother be in a all mother. ways. Yes, in all ways. Mm. Don't say, I'm not me. I paid that. You know me. I nurtured you. No, mm. don't give up on your children. Mm. Stay in your lane. Stay in your position mm. as a mother. Mm. And you may tell me, ah, you know what, Coach Chris? In me, I'm busy. I'm pursuing my PhD, and uh, I've just I'm, I'm on the board of, go of governors of a certain international organization, mm. and I'm busy in church 
I'm um, busy in my uh, in, in in my other uh, my firm, my professional. Mm. How I don't have to, uh, me so long as I put I buy everything put in the fridge. I mm. so long as I get time and pay for them. They I pay for the Uber. They go for the beach. Ah <laughs> uh, no, my dear sister. Uh, create time. Create time. Create quality time. Try to juggle around all mm. those. Recipes. You are not the first. For mm. us Bible readers uh, in Judges five, there was a lady Deborah. I love that lady. Mm. Deborah arose. Deborah was a judge. Mm. Deborah was a mother. Was a wife like you and me. Mm. And Deborah and Deborah was a prophet. She was a minister. She was yes. a, a servant of God. Mm. So you are not the first to juggle. Mm. Find out. Try to juggle your roles and do it with all your passion. Mm. And Just there is a way. Mm. And ma- there is a way. Mm. Some some uh, people have made motherhood look like old style. Uh-huh. Like they feel like being uh, taking care of your kids or being there for your children mm. is not cool. Uh-huh. Like some ch- some people would leave maids to be there in their place and you know what what they teach them you don't know i know so whatever it is that you are doing make sure that you create time for your child yeah. and then another thing speaking to a new mom who has mm. just got into motherhood or oh, yeah. who is thinking of you know joining motherhood what should they expect okay mm. young mothers mm. motherhood it needs a lot of sacrifice a lot of commitment yes you need to be deliberate mm. you need to step out of the comfort zone be ready mentally be ready, mm. mentally spiritually emotionally even physically even economically yes. because you need money to to, to 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 take care of your children mm. so you need to get out of the comfort zone mm. you need to be intentional you don't you do, you, you, you need to know i've had so many mothers say me I, I, i don't know the things yeah you need to learn on the job and we thank god for this youtube yes. you are going to, to learn through this mm. all of us will learn on the job and even we learn through other people consulting yes. mm. so motherhood is sweet motherhood needs a lot of wisdom You need to pray to God every day for wisdom. Children these days mm. they are so intelligent. Yes. They know our psychology. They know they can read our mind. Their IQ is so high. Yes. So as the mother, you need up to up up the game. You need to be intelligent. You need to have wisdom. Be intentional. Be intentional. You need mm. to understand the environment. Mm. Don't, and if 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 I told me I remember there was a day my daughter she was in she was in uh, form two. Mm. She came home and told me, "Mommy, I've got a crush." And you guess what? <laughs> I said, "Oh, my daughter, that is no more. Mm. That is no more." But like, like that, if you don't have wisdom, you can just say, "What? What has happened?" Mm, and you that panic. Is bad. Mm. And if your son or daughter share with you something and you panic and maybe you cry. That's Even a bad if you message. Feel, you, you hear tears just go just wait to yourself go to the washroom hide yourself and mm. cry but never cry in front of your child. Yes. He or she will lose uh, trust in you. He or she will lose confidence. She won't come back she to won't tell come you. Back to you. Mm. So mothers you need to need a lot of wisdom. You need a lot of understanding the environment, the situation. Like yes. my case, I've told my mm. daughter told me a crush. I said, "Ah no, I welcome her. Mm. I didn't judge her. I said, she said, "Mommy, should I block the 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 name and the font?" I said, "No, don't block him. No, let's handle it this. We mm. had we sat, we prayed with I discussed with her, mm. we shared. By the way, the mother, you need to be authentic and share your stories. Yes, All yes. of us we have stories. Where it started hey, where from. Where it started from. <laughs> yes. Even you were daughter mm. sometimes you are so you share with your girls. Mm. Even you uh, uh much as you are not here you are not you are not a, 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 a husband you are not a father but you've seen father mm. so you share with your children that by the way even as we used to go mm. and play and mm. then you know, we come back late we go to fetch water mm. we first pass somewhere but those things mm. so mothers new mothers and I mean, you need to have wisdom yes. you need to have understanding of the environment mm. so that you you don't panic mm. so you 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 you, you find there uh, this day there are a lot of things you find on the status maybe uh, your daughter or son has posted something mm. Which is not healthy. Then you panic. Me, I'm finished. No, mm. you are not yet finished. Don't press the panic button. <laughs> yes. Don't fear. Mm. Have faith. Pick up your pieces and say mm. and, and and stand firm as the mother. Say, mm. ah, ah, no, God, you gave me this daughter. You gave me this son, mm. and you give me the way to maneuver through. Yes. So don't don't, don't despair. Don't don't say, panic. Don't panic. Don't yes. panic. And then another thing, I just eh. wanted to add on what you eh. said. Yes. Just a little because I'm a mother. Yeah, by the she's way. a mother. Yes. Eh. So when 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 it comes to new mothers, 
be very very wise about who you're surrounding yourself with oh, yeah. motherhood sometimes it can get lonely mm -hmm. it can really be lonely but it is always good for you to have people you're going to be looking up to it can be your mother oh, yeah. it can be your auntie who, who has ever been a mother mm. you know ask what things they did differently because yes. mm. most of the times we learn from experiences oh, yeah. we learn from what people have you know gone through mm. so don't close yourself up you know when some people become mothers they mm. disappear so do not disappear away from uh, from I people mean. don't hide yourself oh, yeah. you're going to go through depression if you hide yourself as a mother mm. you need to learn a lot of things how to raise a child what to do when you're a new mother there's some things you don't actually I know, know. Of course, of so course. you have got to learn those things when you put yourself out there to mm. learn from other people mm. yes so uh mm. then also mm. We've talked about motherhood. Yes. Now let's go to this bit, uh, this part of being a wife. Oh yeah. Yes. What makes a good wife? <laughs> yes. Because we all we, we all want to be good good wives to I our husbands. Know. What mm. makes a good wife? Mm. What you need to know to make to so that you are a good wife, mm. you need to know your identity. You need to believe in yourself. Yes. That by the way. God chose me like this time mm. that I become Mrs. Segawa. Mm. It's not automatic. It's not. It's not automatic. Mm. So know your identity, accept who you are, love who you are, mm. accept that right now I'm now I've transitioned from whichever child, teenager, childhood, mm. adulthood. Now I'm a wife to somebody. Yes. And after accepting that position, then do as the game says mm. play your role play your role play your be, be in the moment mm. don't just be a wife and then you are still a slave girl mm. you're a slave queen no behave like a wife mm. conduct yourself like a wife speak like a wife mm. you get it relate Respect. with people as coach as coach just been as mentioned mm. have mentors mm. people have been there you are not the people first to person to be to. a wife to somebody you 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 get somebody you you connect with mm. get a mentor get a role model mm. of being somebody who will take you through because it doesn't come or it doesn't come automatically it's a process it's a journey yes. it's a journey you know you, you are born as a female but it didn't dawn on you that one day you'll be a wife <laughs> and of course when you become a wife there is there, there, there's a lot of compromising there's a lot of sacrifice mm. there's a lot of uh, shifting mm. you know you are uh, like, like, like i see there are some wives I have a friend. Her husband told her every Saturday they put, she puts on a traditional wear, like I'm putting on today. A gomez, a gomez every mm. Saturday. This African trade wear, mm. traditional wear, a gomez every day. So you have to shift your mindset. Mm. You need to have a, uh, you have to, sh uh, you need to have a shift. Mm. That by the way, now I'm a wife, and these are the things. You need to be flexible. You need to be flexible. Mm. Don't say as it was, it will be. Mm. No, you need to have a positive mindset and say, hey, this is this is what it takes mm. to be a wife. And by the way, you need to walk your head high. A wife, there's a husband behind you, be, behind you being a wife. So love that person. Mm. You need to fall in love again, day, day, day in, day out, yes. with that person who makes you a wife. Have you, the dates. Yeah, have a date. Go dates. out for dinner. Yeah, because mm. you can't have a wife. You can't be a wife when you don't have a husband. Yes. So just uh, that significant other. Just appreciate him. Mm. Just love him. Respect him. Mm. Have quite a time with him. Many times, ladies, we, we fail to balance our our our, our time. Mm. Mm. We uh, we just talked about being a mother. Mm. You put a lot of uh, you know me. I got children. A me, lot of I, I reached. Me, mm. I arrived because mm. my children don't are settle. my everything. No, don't settle. Mm. Your children are your life. Yes, did you get your children alone? Mm -hmm. But there is this significant other. Mm. Also, enjoy this. Enjoy this moment of being a mother and being a wife. Mm. Enjoy this moment of being a wife and do whatever it takes to what mm. to, to 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 enjoy the moments. Yes. And by the way. As you are enjoying those moments, don't don't, don't align it to anybody. No, don't don't depend on uh, on anybody. Mm. As the mother enjoy it, as the wife enjoy it, but don't align it to anybody. Mm. It's you. Don't enjoy compare. your life. Uh, don't yeah, compare. The comparison yes. is too much. You want to be like this other couple uh -huh. you saw on social media. You don't know what takes place behind the you know behind the scenes and all that. Yeah. So it and is then, good. And then, and then, also mm. on that question of being a wife. Mm. 
of course you need to look good as a wife eh hey, that time you used to just be dressed yeah. like to make concern mm. you, you 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 do your hair you put a, a wig for 10 years <laughs> you saw this week my cousin bought it for me you came from uh, over uh, 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 abroad uh -huh, mm. no you need to look good as a wife you mm. need to transit from the other side mm. to be uh, as you become a wife you look at yes this is a wife this is Mrs. Swanson mm. this is the mother mm. yeah so that is so this, good this is good to actually balance these two things Yes. And don't forget that you're a wife, even if you're a mother, mm. don't forget that you're a wife to your husband. True. And that is what makes you who you are. Yeah. Just like she told us that mm. know your position yes. and take on the roles of that position. Yes. What does a wife do? Mm -hmm. And what are the things that you are supposed to do different? Because our husbands are different. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. And mm. we are also different beings. Yes. So mm. don't copy what someone else is doing mm. because you don't know whether your husband will like it or not. Oh, yeah. So learn your person as well. I am, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then now we are. Let's talk about the career thing. Mm. Yes, because some mothers, uh, when it comes to motherhood, sometimes you get lost in the way. Mm. You want to go for career at the same time, but then you don't want to miss the moments with your child, and then you want to also be a good wife. So, um, from the start of the video, you told us that you are you you, you are into career, mm. that you are a mother and a wife. How best can you advise someone who is? into career right now mm. but is you know struggling to juggle all these things together how have you been able to balance okay thank you so much coach josephine yes friends a mother a wife a career maybe you're a bank manager mm. you are whichever career you are doing in that all market presses yes what has helped me and what i uh, i i pray it will help you all the viewers of this video mm -hmm. I set health priorities. I set my priorities. I have my to-do list. At the beginning of each season, I know, uh, let me give you an, uh, an example. My, my, my daughter happens to study from some miles away from me. So I know that in this summer holiday, she will be coming. Yes. My also plus my sons, they will be coming. So I do, I, when at my place of work, when I'm applying for leave, I take I, 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 I book that leave when my children will be in holidays so that I can have quality time with, with them. The so one thing to balance our roles as mothers, as wives, as career women, as business women, you need to set priorities well. You need to do the right thing at the right time with the right place mm. for the right purpose. Yes. Let's stop being everywhere and mm. end up being nowhere. So don't say me, you know, I'm just pursuing my PhD. No, you are not mm. the first to pursue the PhD. Yes. I remember when I was doing my master's, I had just got my, 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 my last born. And uh, and this is another tip to balance. I, I had to delegate to my sister. We could drive with my baby to the lecture room. I leave my sister with the baby. I mm. go to the lecture room, study, come back, I breastfeed until, the, until that course time ended. Yes. So... One, uh, one way to juggle around those oros, you need to delegate. Of yes. course, to people, trusted people. You cannot people. be everywhere. You can't be everywhere. Yes, you need to delegate true. to trusted people, especially mm. regarding the children. Yes. Don't delegate, don't allow somebody to drive your daughter from school when you are not there. When, mm -hmm, when you don't even trust them. Of an opposite them. sex, no, mm. don't. Yes. Because you are said delegating, no, don't delegate to everybody. You need to delegate to trusted people. Yes, we have, uh, like for the case of children, home, we have mm. those people who take care of our homes, mm. but don't delegate completely to such people. Some mm. people may be strangers. Give them boundaries. Yeah, give them boundaries. Yes. But in order to balance, you need to even to, to, to empower your team, maybe at a place of work. Mm. If you are not there, maybe you, you, it's a class day for your daughter or your son. You are going to the class day, it's a daytime. Mm. So as a work, as a career woman, Empower your team, your, your people below you, and maybe your yeah, people below you, other people on the same level. Yes. Empower them so that when you, even you aren't there, they can stand in your gap, they can stand and then present. If there's an emergency, they say, Christine's not around, but I'm here, mm. and you wanted this and this, you wanted this file, mm -hmm. I can handle this file. So don't just be, I know it all. No, mm. you know me when I'm not here, mm. everything will be at standstill. No. Build a team. Yeah, and empower And it. empower that team, equip that team. And when it comes to take care of the children, I remember quite just when there was a time I had gone to the field for work mm -hmm. and then it was a visiting day for my son. Uh, because I, ha I had bu I, I built a social good network, 
with my friends. Mm. We, 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 we have a, a short, my son was in a secondary school and we have a group of mothers. We, we, we meet and pray together. Even still right now, our children are at the university, we still have it. Yes. So I had to call my friend and say, I'm, I'm away up country, but please take time and see my son and his, even his children. Because I had developed that social network, she did the job. And even for regarding to buy things to take for my son, yes. I delegated my sister, go sh I sent her money to go and shop and take the, the requirements to my son. So you may not be there, you may you you, you are away, my user away for your work, yes. but still because you created systems and those dependable systems, and by the way, you create those dependable systems when yourself also you give them time because your sister won't go to visit your son if you are if you are not in there lives also as well yes you, yes you have to build it now be involved be involved you have mm. to build you have to have good relationships and with by your the family way, members yeah yes. and just like uh, when you're creating a relationship uh -huh. you give it time oh yeah you may not be you know uh, be available sometimes yeah but the little time that you manage to be there mm -hmm. make sure that it is quality time quality because time. that is how you build a relationship with your child exactly yes yeah and even in addition to that coach just finish mm. uh, our, our job around you know you uh weekend has come you have to go shopping some people shop friday me i shop saturday mm. but sometimes when i'm busy maybe i i'm uh, i'm so much in leadership for women at church yes yeah uh, uh, i do mentorship coaching and all mm. that so by the way just <laughs> just a little bit you yeah. can reach out i'm going to be sharing <laughs> all, uh, her details in the description box yes. below so that you can reach out to her yes. she does marriage counseling she does uh empowering mentorship yes. if you are there and you need help in all those th mm. in all those areas I'm going to be leaving her details in the description so that you can reach out. If you're suffering with something I and know. you can't share it with anyone yes. else, she can study oh, to help for you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Josephine, for that offer. Yeah, yeah. so friends, uh, because I, ja I juggle around all those, my weekend may be so packed yes. when I have like many speaking engagements. So what I do when it comes to market, I I, I, I have a good relationship with the, the some ladies in the market. Yeah. I have two markets where I do shopping. So I just uh, make my list because they're, um, they are they're, they're regular customer. They know what mm. my what they know my taste. Mm. They do the shopping. They put the shopping on on, on the on the van and they deliver. So yes. I'm using my time well. You need to use as a mother a wife. Mm. You need to use your time well. Mm. Many of us, especially, allow me to say it, Africans, we yes. don't use our time well. <laughs> it's not you who is listening, yeah. but we don't use our time mm. well. But in order to balance your life as a mother, wife, mm. and a career woman, you need to use your your time well. Very well. Don't say, ah, maybe I have to drive. There's traffic jam. I have to. Drive. No, mm. I don't drive to the market. Mm. I just you. I just use. I, I communicate to them. They do the shopping. I send the money. Mm. I wear the money, and then they deliver the yeah, thing. Yeah, do a shopping list, yes. and then let someone do it for do, you. Let someone if, do it if, for you. Yes. Then, like for us, I have aging uh, aging parents. You 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 can't be able to. Maybe your your, your dad has, has to go to the medical checkup. Mm. You're not able to drive him to the medical checkup. Mm. Then get someone to drive him. Mm. Then get. Uh, Assign some. You can get a. They say they are nursing cares. Yes. You can get a nursing assistant. You don't be able to say. You know my. Uh, me, you start even uh, be, be, being a burden to have mm. to have parents mm. take care of me. I thank God. I still have both of my parents, and it's a treasure. Mm. So I, well, if I can't take my mother for medical checkup for his for her, her doctor review, mm. I get somebody to do it for do me, it for and you. then I make a fall up. If somebody does it for me two times, the third time I will go myself. Yes. Mm. So it, it it helps me to get involved and to deliver and then when it comes to my children I'm intentional yes. I say yes the first video I was not there but mm. I'll get time in the middle of the week and, and there you come. go yes. and, that, and that means when I have good relationship with the teachers mm. and even with the administrators of our children some of us mothers even who don't create good relationships with, with the, people with, with who, people yes. who teaches our children mm. just for me I paid my school fees I want to be here no <laughs> so friends as mm. we juggle through mm. and of course you need to be innovative Need to be innovative. You can like for cooking. I, mm. I I I love to get involved in the food my husband is going to eat yes. in the juice. So you can you can take weekend. You prepare a juice, put in the uh, in the freezer mm. for the whole week. 
and then in the morning you just bring maybe you you, you can you, you can you can bring the new juice and mm. just make a top up to, and it will be fresh mm. be innovative and creative yes, you yes. can cook a uh, sauce for a whole week mm, you say you me batch I cook hey, mm. you, you, you batch cook you say me I don't, I, I love to cook my sauce mm. yeah batch cook and put in the freezer mm. uh, uh, and then be creative and innovative friend it's not business as usual <laughs> yes uh, we love our mothers and yes. our grandmothers they did um, a great job mm. but they're also innovative mm. remember they could be digging when they are carrying their baby you get you, you, multitasking, multitasking. Yes. don't say are oh, you know uh-uh, carry that baby so mm. you carry that baby on the back mm. and then be doing another work yes you talked uh, about uh, that and by the way as uh, as mothers we are actually blessed by that we yeah, can multitask we mm. you can be cooking at uh, the same time you're making juice uh-huh. at the same time you you're carrying your child uh-huh. or maybe you're actually feeding your child uh-huh. so it's a blessing that we are able to yes, multitask uh, use that as an opportunity to be able to balance even cooking when even you are busy having some quiet time uh, playing with the kauna with uh, that tap game with your husband yes. yeah when you are you, you are you are, you are igniting the fire yes. but then uh, also you are igniting the fire of your mm. love mm. but when you are doing another thing yes. and then uh, mm. uh, another way we need to do we need to create good habits sometimes we fail our own selves mother Yes. We create we need to create good habits at our place of work. The routines. Yes. The routine they are those routines but are they are they good? There are those routines you created at your place of work and and uh, you think nobody else can can can, 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 can penetrate through. Mm. No, but if they are good habits people penetrate through. Yes. So at your place of at at, at your home mm. those good habits yes you pray. Me at my home we pray every day at 8 p.m. I tell my people at home even if I have not yet come back you are held up in the traffic jam you are held up with a business meeting mm. you are held up with a one on one counseling session. Mm. Prayer time has to go on yes. and dinner has to be served by 9 p.m. Mm. You get it. There are those there, there are those habits you need to create so that you don't you don't cause delay. Mm. You get it. You don't yes. cause delay. You don't you don't cause uh, you don't uh, 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 create space for another role. You yes. get it. Yes. For your children, there, there are those habits you need to create. Mm. Me like as I mentioned, like me, every time my children are in holiday. We have time we have days to go to to go to separate ourselves and go to a prayer mountain that one is known mm-hmm. we have to get time and go and visit the grandmothers and great fa- grandfathers yes, and yes. even visit family friends mm. we have to get time and 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 um, and do housework and do general cleaning when my children are around mm-hmm. so create good habits and of course you need to be persistent yes. and be consistent as mm. you do them don't say ah uh-uh, no you know me we, we do house cleaning mm. every saturday but next saturday you don't do it mm. so create those habits yes. and then pursue them yes. and and that one reminds me even again another point being mm. exemplary yes you need yes. to be exact don't just say do as i said don't do as i do mm, no that those, thing those, doesn't work with being those a mother children mm. are seeing as the mother if mm. it's time for prayer be involved if for time to cook be involved time for cleaning be involved mm. time to t- t- time to use phones mm-hmm. don't lie on phones when your children are <laughs> hearing be exemplary yes, if it's time yes. to go to church go mm. to church with them don't say are you going today i'm so tired you know i was mm. in the field I want to i'm go so today. tired are you know i didn't sleep your baby sister was crying mm. I, i don't say those things go to church so mothers we need to be exemplary mm. as we do that and uh, another thing how to to juggle through all this of course you need to be available and uh, available for every task availability you yes. know th- there are many times we are supposed like for us at work you are supposed to leave at to reach at 8:30 mm. leave at 5:30 yeah you know you leave you uh, you have you at 8:30 leave at 5 then you have lunch break mm. so be available for that 8 start up to 12:30 then lunch time you may you may do some family work mm. you may do some family errands yes. during that lunch time because it's your time mm. but don't miss don't, don't misuse time yes just assign each task according to the time don't mix things Yes we said my task is good especially when you are home but if it's time for work don't be on phones with your family mm. there are many people who are just use the man hours on at place of work mm-hmm. they are busy on their emails they are mm. busy on their private work no mm. you are cheating yourself you may think you are cheating your employer but you are cheating, You're cheating yourself. yourself so let's use our time well unless uh, uh, and, and, and let's uh, ensure mm. we deliver 
we do it effectively. Don't just say, I mean, I use my time well. No. Mm. If it's time for home, don't just be there and say, I actually want quality time. Here, I'm, I'm seated. I'm mm. sat here. I've seated here. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Talk to me. Here, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Yeah. So mm. we, need, we need to do. And by mm. the way, I, uh, I want to say this. Mm. You need to, whatever you do, do it with love. As a mother, do it with love. As mm. a wife, with, as a career woman, yes. businesswoman, do it with love. Do it with that passion. Mm. Personally, I love my family. Mm. I love my children. I love my husband. And it I gets so easy. I love my parents. Mm. I love my friends. And I treasure my job. Yes. I treasure my job so much. Mm. It has taken me places. I treasure my my, my, my side hustles. I treasure my mentorship. Mm. So whatever you do, treasure it. I yes. treasure quite a time with my girlfriends, mm. like, uh, like, my, like my, my, my special daughter, my divine daughter, God yes. bless me. Mm. I treasure this moment. Mm. So treasure everything. Don't say, you know me, I'm busy. Your girlfriends invite you for tea. Mm. I'm busy. I'm busy. Ah, you are busy doing what? Create that time for your girlfriends. Mm. Create your time for your family. Mm. Even you can't you can't get time to visit your sisters, your yes. siblings, because you are so busy. You know me. I me, I'm busy. Mm. I'm busy. Uh, and uh, there is also one thing I've come eh, to realize: when eh. someone loves what they do, uh -huh. they will create time exactly. for it. Where there is a way. Yes, if uh, you love your where family, where there is a the will, mm? there is a the way. Yes. Yes. If you love your job, uh -huh. trust me, you're going to create time for it. Exactly. If you love your children. Because if you're doing it out of love, no one is forcing you, yes. Mm. It is going to be so easy. Mm. So don't feel like you're being forced to do things, but do it because it is from the bottom of your exactly. heart. You love to do it. Mm. You love to connect with people. Exactly. You love to take care of your children. Mm. You love your job. You love whatever business you're running right now. Mm. So doing it with uh, love, yeah. it gets so easy because it you love it. Yeah, it gives you it mm. gives you comfort. It gives you peace of mind. Yes, it, yes. It, 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 it flows naturally. Mm. And uh, before we get out of, from this point, as we are about to conclude, and we are going to share a special message. Yes. We, you need to invest mm. as you juggle through all those responsibilities. You need to invest time. You need to invest money. Yes. You need to invest resources. You need to invest. Don't say, ah, you know me. Mm. No. I, you, you enjoy the motherhood. Invest in your children. Yes. Take them out. Go out for vacation. Yes. Invest in your in your marriage. Mm. Take your hubby out for a date, for a night date. Take him take him for a boat cruise. Mm. The other day I was telling there are some ladies we have a dinner. Mm. I was telling them, you people, we are helpers. God created us to help these men. Mm. You can't pay. Don't wait for him to pay for that ticket. <laughs> you pay for him. <laughs> if and you can, and just, do it. If you can, do mm. it. And, you, and guess what? You do it two times. You do it ten times. Absolutely. So, hey, mm. so invest. Let's invest you people invest in you your quieted time the mm. mid time invest in your self care mm. as a mother sometimes mothers just feel mm. sometimes as you said that motherhood may be lonely should sometimes can be lonely mm. sometimes mothers have given up on ourselves mm. but invest in self care invest in prioritizing yourself yes. invest in self, uh, in pampering yourself give yourself a treat mm. even give yourself a, a, a spa a special hot spa me I love hot spa mm. so invest in yourself and even invest in you don't say no, you know what? School fees, school fees. You guess what? When the school fees end, no, it doesn't, it doesn't end. end. The responsibilities don't actually the responsibility end. The doesn't end. Mm. Invest, invest, invest in the motherhood, in the career. If mm. it needs you to go back for that good course, that refresher course, mm. you go, go, go for, for it. it. These days we are invest even the online courses. Mm. Hope you don't say, you know me, I got trains. You know me, I know my children. Ah, uh -uh, no, no, mm. no. Let children not be any excuse. Yes. And even you know, I married this man once. Me, no, invest. Mm. Go ahead and invest. Yes. If you invest in your husband, he will allow you to do whatever you want because yes. you are balancing it. And we want to tell you, balance the board, balance yes. it. Make sure one doesn't take the other <laughs> exactly. so much. Mm. It's doable and mm. it's achievable. Mm. If others can do it, you can, you can also do, do it. it. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing that message. It is a message that I take so dearly because you're speaking to me also. So if your mother out there, I hope this is helpful to you and I hope you find value in it. If you found this video, helpful kindly give it a thumbs up let us know down in the comment section what have you picked from this video what has worked out for you what are some of these things that you're actually going to try out and be able to balance to juggle all these things and don't get lost into any of these three things um do you have anything left to say okay mm -hmm. your last last message to uh, our viewers yeah my last last message mm. to dear viewers as mothers the time is now. Yes. The time is now to do it anyway. It starts with you. 
and ends with you. It is your responsibility. Yes. And you'll be accountable to your creator, the responsibility he gave you as a mother. They may not appreciate you. Mm. Even your own children or your own, the father of your children, even your relatives. You don't need anybody's approval or appreciation. But just know our creator is our rewarder. They may gossip about you that, that you failed to mother, mm. but you try to still continue doing your best. And if possible, seek information, seek knowledge yes. about motherhood. If possible, continue attending conferences, retreats at your place of work, at your church, so that you can be more equipped to become father, rather great mothers, to become great sweet mothers. And always remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel yes. and to share with friends mm. and relatives. Mm. Thank you so much. Yes. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next video. Yeah.